from the Wake of Winchester. Today is actually September 13th, but it is also Friday, Friday the 13th. 13th. Dun, dun, dun. I'm getting some bad vibes. Getting some bad bad vibes right now. Maybe some creepy gonna things are going to happen on our show. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Might see a ghost. The lights might flicker. Or nothing may happen. Or nothing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's always possible. Probably that, yeah. But we're going to get started with some big shot birthdays. We have Judith Martin, a.k.a. Miss Manners, is 75. We have Jean Smart, who is 62. Randy Jones of The Village People, the original cowboy, is 61. Talk show host and author Tavis Smiley, that's a cute last name, is 49. <laughs> and we also have uh, poker player Annie Duke is 48. And Ben Savage from Boy Meets World is 33. Ah, oh, Boy Meets World, I swear. That's, that was like my childhood. Like ne never, up. never, never saw that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, ne never saw it. Sounds good. Sounds interesting, but no thanks. Now, in some of the uh, some of the entertainment news that we have right now, again, there's Miley Cyrus stuff, but it's actually surprising. Uh, you, everyone says what they want to say about Miley Cyrus, but her new video is has absolutely yes. destroyed Vivo's records for the most viewed video. Over 19 million views in its first 24 hours. The 19 million. Okay, I watched the video last night. I didn't actually like know much about it, but mm -hmm. someone told me to go watch it. Well, when I watched it last night, I don't know how many days it's been on. It's not been. On, I think it's been on like. Someone two, told me three. it's been on for three days, but last night when I watched it, it had 47 million views. Yeah. That is crazy. That is really crazy, and I don't. I just, I can't say anything about it. I don't and know I what. And I think the reason why it probably is so popular is because if people did not know that she is nude, yeah, she is nude in that. Yeah, it's, it's blurred. It's, it's very strange. Is it, this um, is one that you watched blurred? No. Oh, the one I watched was blurred. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily show anything, um, but it is, it's just very awkward. Like, I watched the video. I'm like a pretty good fan of Miley Cyrus, mm -hmm. but I watched it and I was kind of just like, made me feel uncomfortable. I was like, all right. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's not watch yeah. this anymore. But the one I watched, it was because it was in like a news, a news clip or whatever. Right, they had and blurred they, they, they blurred it, yeah. which, which I thought was really, really, really good. Yeah. Um, and also, uh, Lionel Richie offers Billy Ray Cy Cyrus some parenting advice because he says, uh, dad to dad, I've been Billy Ray because I guess his, uh, his daughter, Nicole Richie, had gone through some of that teenage mm -hmm. growing up in Hollywood stuff. And he says, when you have a teenage daughter growing up in Hollywood, in, uh, in Hollywood, in the business, I mean, what I went through with Nicole, God bless Billy Ray. Honestly, there is no control. Yeah. So. I mean, I don't know exactly how old Miley Cyrus is. I think she's probably, obviously, an adult by now. I'm yeah. pretty sure she's probably in her 20s. Yeah, I think so. Uh, you know, 20, 21, but I, yeah, still, she is a little young, which, I mean, what can I say? I'm like yeah. 17, but still. still. So you're not going to go out there and do all that stuff, hopefully. I really, yeah, really, no, 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 I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> I really hope not. But, I mean, it's one of those things that you just kind of have to say, please, God, let it be over soon. Mm -hmm. Well, we are going to take a look at this week's weather. So we have, um, we're actually getting down into like the lower temperatures now. We have on Saturday, it's going to be 77, but it's going to be sunny. And we're also going to be at 84 uh, on Sunday. So it's like, looks like a pretty good week. We have a slight per uh, percent chance of rain at the beginning of next week on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. But, you know, I don't think that's going to amount to much. And it looks like we have a pretty good week ahead of us. It does. looks like, you know, sunny, clear, a little bit of clouds. Mm -hmm. I'm actually glad that it's a little bit cooler on the weekends now, like 77, mm -hmm. 84. That's still like a really great temperature um, because makes before when it was like 95, that's just, that's crazy. That's too hot. Yeah, it makes you want to get outside actually. Yeah, it's like, it's good weather. Um, but we always have our special events for the day and we never really know where they come from. But actually, there's one that you might recognize. Today, Friday, is Friday the 13th. Dun, dun, dun. All right. I feel like I have to say that every single time I say Friday the 13th. But there are actually two this year, and the next one is going to come in December. But we also have a long list of other just really, really random uh, holidays. We have It's Blame Someone Else Day, International Chocolate Day, Kids Take Over the Kitchen Day, <laughs> uh, Programmer Day, Stand Up to Cancer Day. That's a good one. Um, it's also Peanut Day, Fortune Cookie Day, Positive Thinking Day, and Uncle Sam Day. I wouldn't want to open up a fortune cookie on Friday the 13th. Yeah, mm -hmm. you will die after you open this fortune cookie. <laughs> it's but like, but you don't know that. So you open it and like, oh, well. <laughs> yeah. And then 
you get like food poisoning. <laughs> that wouldn't if be that good. happens to anyone, just burn it. Yeah, burn it as quickly as possible. <laughs> <laughs> but we will be back with some Friday the 13th news right after this. Young man, we received an anonymous tip about an underage drinking party last night at this address. When teens drink on your property, you're responsible. Parents who host lose the most. How you doing? My name's Steve. My family's lived in this neighborhood for years. Recently, things got so tight, we had to go to our local food bank for help. I lost a lot of sleep worrying about what the neighbors might think. That is until I saw them there, too. How'd I do, Steve? A little stiff. You could have done a little what? better. What? Come on! You know, I have an Academy Award. Yeah, but not for playing me. Play a role in ending hunger. Visit feedingamerica.org slash hunger and find your local food bank. So make sure you tune in for Sports Cafe on Wednesday and Thursday nights at 7 o'clock. When I have an asthma attack, I feel scared. Sometimes my parents have to take me to the hospital. I feel like a fish with no water. You know how to react to their asthma attacks. Here's how to prevent them. Call 1-866-NO-ATTACKS. Visit www.noattacks.org or call your doctor. Because even one attack is one too many. A healthy tomorrow begins with a solid foundation at home. And there are simple ways to start your kids on a path to success. Eat dinner together. Add veggies to each meal. Save treats for special occasions. And be sure to get up and play an hour each day. Help your kids make all of their dreams come true. Be our guest to Healthy Living Today at letsmove.gov. Welcome back to Wake Up Winchester. Before we went to the commercial break, we promised that we'd, we'd be back with some uh, Friday the 13th news. We actually have some stuff. Um, we have... Like, okay, a lot of people wonder, you know, like, Friday the 13th, it's pretty random, and mm -hmm. it's pretty, like, um, it doesn't happen, obviously, every single month. So sometimes people might wonder how many times it can occur in a year, right. and it actually is three. So um, there's only three days that you could probably be haunted and killed by ghosts <laughs> uh, in a year. But uh, like it said earlier, that there's only two this year, and the next one's in December. Okay. I think it'd be cool to have one in October. I know yeah. movies would go crazy. Yes. People would try to be, because I know that Insidious is actually, uh, Insidious Part 2 it is released today. It's going to go to theaters today. All right. So I know that um, people are probably, if that happened, they would all try to like oh, yeah. program it to, to come Just out on right. that day. Yeah. But uh, we also have the, um, the next year it will be, that will have uh, three Friday the 13th is in 2015, and they'll be in February, March, and November. And then we also have, so these are just some like fun facts about Friday the 13th. We also have President Franklin D. Roosevelt is said to have um, avoided travel on the 13th of the, any month and never host 13 guests at a meal. So some superstition so going on. Superstitious right there. Um, and then we have more than 60 million people worldwide claim to be affected by the fear of Friday the 13th. Some of them won't go to work, drive cars, or get out of bed on this day. Wow. Wow. The, wow. Yeah. Major situation <laughs> there, too. I mean, what if someone get out of bed and they turned on our show and we're, here we are just talking about it? Yeah. I'm sorry. Hey. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's weird. That is a really like, big superstition. And I, you know, again, we don't have this information, but I wish we kind of would have looked up why Friday the 13th is such a big deal. Like, why? Right. Like, why, what's made it become Friday the 13th a scary thing? Mm -hmm. um, and then we also have, according to British Medical Journal, there is no significant increase in traffic-related accidents when the date is Friday the 13th. So no one's, I guess, dying more right. than they... Uh, maybe, I'm thinking maybe it was uh, from the movie Friday the 13th. 
I don't I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know if, either. I, I don't, don't know, know if, if they based the movie off of the, the, the superstition day, or if the or day is based, based on the, the movie. movie. I don't know, but I mean it's it was just a But see, I feel like what that would be a random just movie title Friday the 13th, but then again I've never seen that movie. So It's there it's good. Um, and then we also have every year has at least one and at most three Friday the 13th, like we said before. The longest period that can occur without a Friday the 13th is 14 months, so you might be safe for that amount mm -hmm. of time. Uh, many hospitals have no room 13, many hotels have no uh, 13th floor, and many airports don't have a gate 13. I never realized that. I never realized that either. I never realized that. That's very creepy, kind of, when you think about yeah. it. Yeah. Like how, especially the hospital part. Yeah. That's because a lot of stuff happens in hospitals and movies. Right. I don't know. I just that's a weird kind of like suspicion. I've heard yeah. of people um, when they, I guess <coughs> there's a superstition where, when people walk up the steps, like they leave off the thirteenth step, like they won't they won't step on that. Really. But. I've I've never yeah. heard that one actually. That that one's new to me. Mm -hmm. I don't like even when they're walking like up and down because there was someone who had like 13 exact steps in their house and they wouldn't ever step on the first or last one. Huh. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've never. I'm not really a superstitious person. Are you? Not really. I mean, when I was younger mm -hmm. and like Friday the 13th, you know, we'd be talking about all these different stories of what might happen mm -hmm. or like I remember there was one time that the bus like there was a, a farm or whatever and then like the bus had like a chicken or something on Friday the 13th and like <gasps> oh you know it's Friday the 13th and this poor chicken just got hit it's like really you just had a really bad bus driver <laughs> yeah yeah so I mean it's not really we used to have fun with it mm -hmm. but I've never really been yeah I remember when I was in elementary school we used to do that thing like Bloody Mary we'd all go yeah. into the bathrooms and like flick the lights up and mm -hmm. down and be like Bloody Mary Bloody Mary and if I'm scaring you right now I'm sorry. I don't think I've actually I don't think I actually ever did that the Bloody Mary just because I didn't have friends over we did never found the interest, Oh, we would do it in the in the bathrooms of the school and we'd get in oh. trouble for <laughs> it. <laughs> Screaming Bloody Mary <laughs> in the bathrooms. Um, but then also if you are the person who's not really scared of Friday Friday the thirteenth, but you kinda celebrate it, you're one of those kind of spooky people who likes Halloween and stuff like that. Yeah. Then we have a list of some of the scariest movies or, you know, according to lists that we found online and people that we know. So uh, the number one that we have, these aren't any, in any like, particular order though. We have Silence of the Lambs, The Exorcist, Alien, The Shining, Paranormal Activity, which is a newer movie, and I don't know if I'd call that one necessarily scary in my opinion. The Paranormal but Activity one? Yeah, but it is pretty good. It is good, I've, I, I didn't see all of them, I just saw um, they get a little bit m stupid as they go along. Yeah, I think I saw the more recent. The more first recent one's one. the first one's pretty pretty okay. It's a different type of movie. It's more it's filmed as like a you know like a fake documentary, so it is it seems more real. Right. Th there was one movie that I did see though that I forgot to tell you about on the list. It's called VHS, and VHS. it's it's, it's kind of like Paranormal Activity, but mm -hmm. it's a whole whole lot better, whole lot scarier. Huh, so it's like you can it, check that one out it's too. Not, it's not necessarily a jump out at you, it's more of a you, you pay attention to it mm -hmm. and it messes with your mind like completely. Like you'll see something and then it'll jump back to that clip and something like you'll have to pay attention. Like it's not there, then something else is there and you're like, oh. That was it, a very confusing explanation. But yes, kind of it's, it's, a very confu it's a confusing movie. You have to, you have to pay attention to it yeah. to be scared. Huh. But then after it gets scarier as it goes along. I it's think like, I'll have to watch that. Yeah, it's, it's on Netflix. Oh, I think. great. I think it's on Netflix. I have my Friday 13th plans yeah, planned out for me now. It's just like, it's like the home video, like, mm -hmm. like Paranormal Activity, but it's a whole lot better. And then we also have It, which Blake can do an impersonation of the I'm not clown. going to. What? I'm not, I'm not going to right now, but. No? <coughs> I, don't, I don't want to. I don't feel like it. I feel better doing it when I'm off the, the camera. So you just might randomly do it? Maybe. Maybe? Ooh, okay, uh, and then we have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which has been remade a couple times, I'm pretty sure, but this one we're referring to is the older one. We also have the Friday 13 movies, which mm -hmm. you would recommend. I would recommend those. Those are very good. And then we also have Halloween, the Saw movies, which was kind of brought up to our attention yeah. that they're not really, um, really scary. They're more um, kind of gruesome and right. gore and that kind of stuff, but I like them. Um, <laughs> I've a, actually, I've, I've never seen those. Way. Really? I've, I've, yeah, I've never seen those. They're not very scary. They're just like, oh God, no, yeah. ew, gross. Can't stop watching that kind of <laughs> thing. Um, and then there's Cabin in the Woods, 
that movie is really good. It's like it's not quite scary. What it is, what what the purpose of it was, was it's a a scary movie that makes fun of scary movies while at the same time still being kind of scary. Hmm. You follow? Yeah. It's it's like you know there've been movies out there that make fun of scary movies. Like the scary movies. Yeah, scary, scary movie movies one. and those, those those are funny. Those are very funny. Mm-hmm. And they're they're not they're not that scary. But Cabin in the Woods, they I mean, it's not, you know, extremely like, oh my gosh, but I mean there's some parts where like, oh. Yeah. And it's it's still good at the same time. So check that one out. It's and not then stupid. If you guys uh, like more newer movies, or if you've already seen all of these, because a lot of these are pretty much like kind of classic mm-hmm. movies, you can check out some of the newer movies. We have the remake of The Evil Dead, The Conjuring, Insidious um, Part Two, which is coming out right. today, um, and then The Last Exorcism Part Two. The Last Exorcism is actually the first part. It's pretty much a pretty um, newer movie too. Okay. And then we also have Mama, Sinister, and Possession. I saw Possession. That mm-hmm. was good. That yeah, was they good. have a lot of just. Um, I'm really into all these movies. I've uh-huh. seen all of them before. I've seen all of them. Um, I just like getting scared. <laughs> I think it's fun. I, I like a lot of the older scary movies, mm-hmm. like uh, uh, The Shining. Mm-hmm. That is, I mean, it's, it's not quite scary, but it's just, it's still good. It probably isn't scary to us now right. because of like all of the, the um, stuff effects and stuff mm-hmm. that they do now. Um, but before. I, I, I in prefer. Its time, it was I prefer some of the older ones because a lot of the a lot of the acting and some stuff I I feel is just a little bit better mm-hmm. in my opinion. They're just all around a little bit better movies. Like some of the newer ones have some of those effects and they're scary, mm-hmm. but at the same time they're just not as good just, to me. Just not, just not right. One up there. one that we forgot to put on there is Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh actually. yes, that was actually on a lot of the list. I didn't put it on here though. I, we we forgot about that one, but those those were really good too. And then mm-hmm. Freddy vs Jason. That's Friday the Thirteenth. I haven't seen that. That, that one's Friday the 13th, you know, the Jason right. versus Freddy, who is mm-hmm. off of Nightmare on Elm Street. It's like the com- combination combination <laughs> of those movies. So I know you want to do this impersonation for us. <sighs> Let me see if, I don't know if I can get it. Um, hey, Georgie, my name is Pennywise the Clown. You want a balloon? <laughs> and our, our, uh, our director does not, does not like that impersonation. <laughs> he's, he's having a fit behind the behind the set right now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, he that voice, that voice, he doesn't really get that scared, but that voice is one that gets him going. <laughs> That's really I think it's really funny actually to listen to you do that. Oh. <laughs> But I guess that's pretty much all we have for the Friday 13th news. Um, We'll be right back to Wake Up Winchester right after this commercial break. hero in you fuel up right and get energized be part of the greatest action movie ever the first movie that puts you in the action show us how you train and eat like an action hero join in at actionheroalliance.com my life It's full of statistics. Thing is, I could have dropped out of school and become one myself, but I didn't because I had people that believed in me. Here's another statistic. 7,000 students drop out every school day. That's one every 26 seconds. It's time that students know that we believe in them. Inspire a student and share your message of support at boostup.org.
This is one amazing truffle tree. Can you imagine a place where these grow everywhere? Yes, it's called the forest. A magical place to enjoy with your family. So discover the forest and explore all the wonder that's there. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. Welcome back to Wake Up Winchester. Oh, sorry, I kind of had a little something stuck in my throat there. Now, one of the things that uh, I have on here is the five things that technology has rendered useless from uh, guyspeed.com. Number one, prank phone calls. You know, that used to happen a lot, and that has kind of not taken effect anymore because of caller ID. Mm -hmm. um, complaining about privacy. Your first Facebook post surrendered your privacy, and you agreed to it. Um, listening to full albums. You know, I guess it's talking about some of those. Mm -hmm. um, not knowing how far you've jogged because... Uh, you know, yeah, you, you, you're able to kind of have like the watch or the, the ankle bracelet or whatever. And getting set up on a blind date mm -hmm. because you know everything about the person with a quick search even before the date starts. Right. Unless, of course, you don't know how to do that and then it's still, I guess, a blind <laughs> date. Yeah. And um, some of the stuff on here also that's it's kind of cool is... Um, do you keep up with the Kardashians? Mm -mm, no. Uh, I don't. I don't either. But on, <laughs> I'd have just thrown that out there. I don't. I don't either. But uh, Kim Kardashian and Baby North are letting Chloe and Courtney do all the work. Chloe and Courtney got all dolled up for, to film their reality series Wednesday in Los Angeles with the sisters picking up the slack for their new mom Kim. For, for the new mom Kim, not their new mom. Sorry, <laughs> a little slip of words there. As she takes a break from work and relaxes at home with her newborn daughter. Hmm. So I guess she's not going to be on the the series or the whatever show for, anymore, huh? For a while. Yeah, I don't, I don't ever really watch that show that much, so it's not really, I guess, that that big of a news to me. But I guess for all the Kardashian fans out there, it might yeah, be. Yeah, it, it might be just a little. <laughs> um, uh, I'm not sure what they're saying. Something back there. Sorry, I had they they caught my attention. But um, let's see. I guess they're uh, Keanu Reeves. You know him. Mm -hmm. He is uh. There was an interview with MTV Keanu Reeves revealed the plans for Bill and Ted 3 have hit a rough patch. Keanu says it's a long story. There's darkness out there that's keeping it from happening. It's not winning right now. So I guess that Keanu Reeves is going to be in a new Ted movie. I'm not really a big fan of him. You're not? Uh, I, no, liked, I liked him in The Matrix. I don't think he's like that great of an actor. I don't need well, In my opinion, I'm sorry. I've seen him in like a lot of Lifetime movies. You've seen him in a lot of movies. <laughs> I kind of... I, I like how you're dissing a guy that's making millions of dollars. I'm so well, sorry. then again, we're also doing that to Miley Cyrus. You know, no, you, I, you, I like you Miley. To, <laughs> I'm a Miley fan. You, you are a Miley fan. Yeah. And did, did you ever watch Hannah Montana? Yeah, but you, I didn't like her then. I like you, her you didn't now. like her. You didn't like her then, but she she wasn't quite as bad as she is now. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. I mean, she was in, under like the Disney image. Yeah. So it was a good look for her, but now she's grown out of her Disney and gone to. Yeah new music videos mm -hmm. all right so yeah um also uh, th th one thing on here that i'm finding pretty interesting is following his recovery from a surgery that removed his appendix elton john is making a big return to the emmys uh his performance will be in tribute to liberance which will happen on the 65th annual awards show on september the 22nd hmm. so that's pretty i didn't cool. even know that he had that i didn't that either surgery. i didn't either but i mean that's pretty cool Mm -hmm. And so yeah, I mean, I know there's there's a kid here I think that actually had his appendix removed. Yeah, it's a pretty common thing. I mean, if people have appendicitis. I mean, he's he's been out for a long, I don't know how long you're supposed to you know, recover from that. Right. I'm no I don't know anything about that medical field stuff, mm -hmm. but he's been out for a while, so. And with other news, um, we have, you know, like September 13th, 2013, nothing exciting may happen today, but we have some dates set in history, some pretty big things mm -hmm. were happening. In, er, in 1788, we have the United States Constitutional Convention set up the date for the country's first presidential election, and New York City became the temporary capital of the U.S. Mm. Wow. And then in 1899, Henry Bliss was the first person in the United States to be killed in an automobile accident. Aww. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. 
That is horrible. That's so weird that they know the exact person who was the first person to be killed in an automobile well, I think, accident. I think it was probably pretty big news. I mean, you know. Right, but know. that's just crazy in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Um, and then in 1969, we have Elvis Presley's Suspicious Minds reached number one in the U.S., and it was his last first song. 1985, Nintendo released its smash hit, Super Mario Brothers. All right. 1993, Conan O'Brien became the host of NBC's Late Night, the show previously hosted by David Letterman. And then we also have, in 1998, NBC's Frasier won a record uh, a record fifth consecutive award for the best comedy series at the 50th annual Primetime Emmy Awards. All right, that's a lot of good stuff that, that's going on. Yeah, except for except, except poor for Henry Bliss. Yeah, except for the poor guy that has <laughs> been in an accident. He was the first one. First one. And uh, <laughs> I'm a fan of Conan. Well, not a big fan of Conan O'Brien. I know he, he's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. So that, that was kind of cool. And um, one thing that th this is actually really interesting statistics um you know you want to know if you're are you a horrible person do you think if you sleep with your uh, smartphone nearby i well okay i do but i use it for my alarm and okay. that's why i sleep like all right that. so that um 83 percent of young people sleep next to their phones and 35 percent of them check it before getting out of bed um online schools.org has this breakdown of how much the younger generation and the rest of us are addicted to big and small screens well, I guess I'm part of the younger generation, just getting <laughs> that from there. But 25% uh, of us watch news clips from work. 15% uh, watch viral videos. 40% use their phones while in the bathroom. 50% uh, prefer digital communication over face-to-face -face conversation. And 60% of TV viewers use their computers at the same time. Huh. Yeah, there was actually a story that was on... Um, news a couple of days ago about how uh, having your smartphone with you all the time and having its you know, notifications mm -hmm. on, it can actually be really stressful for you because it gets people um, the feeling of not being in control of a situation. And so like if you always have your phone next to you and it's always going off interrupting what you do, it ruins your concentration, your b ability to concentrate on things and it actually gets people very stressed out without them really knowing the reason behind it. So they have psychiatrist on who was talking all about it but it was yeah it was pretty interesting I you never really think that your phone would stress you out yeah but it said that a lot of people that use their phones more often um, can be very stressed out if they're always having people mm -hmm. text them and stuff like that I, I think that's understandable especially because like you know some people enjoy doing two or three things at one time mm -hmm. but I guess after so so long the what you were saying can just kind of get right. to you because they they feel out of control if you're like watching TV or something and then something scares you mm -hmm. or not scares, scares you, you but um, like your phone rings and scares well, you or yeah, something that, like that yeah. um, or you, something keeps beeping and going off it kind of just distracts you from what you're doing yeah because I remember that that happened to me one time we were uh, I was watching TV up in our game room mm -hmm. and like we have a s older like exercise bike, and some for some reason it kept, like something like kept beeping. It was the battery that was, the battery was almost dead, is what it was. Of course, I figured that out later, but I mean it was just beeping, and it sounded like it was coming from all different parts of the room while I was watching TV. Like at first, it sounded like it was coming from, you know, above the TV. Then it sounded like it was coming from behind me. Right. And so, so technology can really kind of like mess with your mind and kind yeah. of get you, um, you know, a little bit thrown off your game. Yeah, and my dad did the same thing. He went up there and he was like, "What is this?" <laughs> but eventually, like, I was able to listen and pick it out, and I was like, hit it, and it stopped. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah, this gener our generation has really become kind of addicted to cell phones. And mm -hmm. speaking of cell phones, um, there actually is a new release um, of the Apple iPhone that came out a couple of days ago. But, yeah, I guess just, yeah, don't use your phone too much, <laughs> but there's this new really cool phone yeah, that you're going to want to use. Really cool, but you, you shouldn't use it mm -hmm. because y you'll go crazy. Yeah. But, you know. Um, there's something on here, one, one, one last quick fact, is that uh, Kelly Osborne is denying rumors that she is currently expecting her first child with fiance Matthew Mosshart, mm -hmm. and I get, I'm not going to get into all this, but, because, um, you know, they're, they're, I'm just not going to get all that, but she's denying any, if anyone was wondering if she <laughs> was expecting a child, the, those rumors are false, according to her. Yeah. And it's usually correct when it comes from like the actual source. Yeah, the usually. I'm usually. guessing she knows what she's talking about. I'm guessing right. she knows too. Hopefully she knows what she's talking yeah. about. 
But um, I think that does it for our show. If you have any comments, questions, or would like to be a guest on our show, you can email us at wakeupwinchester at fchs.com.